everybody welcome to my channel uh, it's the first time I record a video like this and uh, really record myself um, I got a nice bike for my GoPro and a light so I hope this is uh, visible enough um, tonight I want to shoot the black eye galaxy the last three nights actually I just wasted some time I made another video and I wanted to shoot the pinwheel galaxy but um, I was pretty unlucky with with the weather the scene conditions weren't too nice um, and also I realized that the target was pretty dim dimmer than uh, than I re than I thought before actually um, so tonight uh, I moved to my parents place uh, it's on the east of Belgium uh, here it's a bottle five class sky uh, so pretty dark uh, compared to what I'm used to. Um, back where I live in uh, Antwerp in Belgium, we are under a Bordel uh, 8 class sky, so I'm pretty stoked to uh, start shooting here again. I got my ASI 120mm uh, guide scope together with my, um, with my DSLR camera which is doing a fairly good job. I never had like a dedicated uh, astro camera, but it's working out pretty well with this one. I'm also working with my ASI Air um, and it's really uh, speeding up my workflow a lot if I compare it to how I was doing it before. Just uploading images to uh, this website. I forgot the name, but it took a lot of time. Um, so yeah, let's just go for it. We got a pretty clear sky. Uh, the moon is at more or less 5% now and it's going down in a few minutes. It's pretty dark and my point is going to point up almost at zenith. So uh, that should uh, provide me some uh, 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 nice images, some nice signal. Okay, so we are polar lines. Um, now I want to do a first test exposure. So I'm in the preview mode here. In my ASI Air app on my iPhone. The tracking is on. <coughs> so what I want to do now, I'm going to the map. Um, near Polaris. Um, I did not do uh, a solve because uh, in the past it did give me some issues actually um, where my mount was going <laughs> just the opposite direction so I may do another video if you want I have the Skywatcher EQ6 R Pro together with the Newtonian mount and the ASI Air Mini so uh, let me know if you want to see a video about that how I solved this uh, so now I'm in the preview mode and um, let's see, I'm still recording this. Yes, okay. So I'm going to the map and I'm going to look for my object, which is the Black Eye Galaxy. Black Eye Galaxy. Is that M64? Yes, it is. So I'm going to click on it. See if the go to there works directly. Now it's now slewing. Let's see if it's going the right direction. I think it is. It's almost at meridian, so going to do the meridian flip uh, in not so much time validate centered usually it has to uh, recenter it let's see how it goes uncentered it's a bit off let's see if it's centered now
Okay, now I am one happy guy. <laughs> this doesn't always work. Um, so nice. Okay, we are centered on the black eye galaxy now. And we got a, I think a five second exposure and I can already see it showing up a bit in the middle of the screen. My um, first sub is uh, coming in. It's now at 64 seconds of the 300. Um, I'm also pretty close to Meridian already. So um, I'm going to leave my scope now in a bit, but I just want to wait to see what uh, Meridian Flip is doing because I only left my scope in the middle of the night only two times and I had a lot of trouble with my go-to function and also a few times with my Meridian Flip where it just didn't do anything. But now with this new uh, workflow I have where I never manually move my scope basically and I only use the the functions in the app to move the scope basically I don't have this issue anymore so but I still want to wait and see if everything goes right um, so now I'm at 16 seconds um, from my first sub that is coming in and nine minutes from my meridian flip so I'm really curious if this is going to turn out right and if it does I'm just going to leave it and uh, do its thing and come back tomorrow and see what beautiful uh, galaxy it shot for me. So I'm really excited. Okay, my first sub is loading. There we go, almost there. Hope it's gonna be clear. Nice. It's looking really good. Stars are sharp. I do not have a coma corrector. Um, so this is what it looks like if you have this setup like me without a coma corrector it's it's pretty okay actually there's a bit of coma on the stars here but if you go more to the to the middle it is okay I mean if you don't want to spend another four hundred dollars on a coma corrector or whatever it costs um, I'm pretty satisfied with this this is the first sub coming in there's so much detail already um, yeah I'm happy about it